reading greens. We get a lot asked about it a lot, and it's important. I, I agree. Reading a green before you hit the putt is very important. But I want to tell you, the better the player, the more work they do before they hit the shot. Like they know things like it's into the wind or it's slow or it's fast or it's downhill. If I was your caddy, the first thing I'd ask you to read on a putt is the speed. What's the speed going to be? Is it into the wind? Is it on a slow green? Is it uphill? Well, then you're going to have to hit it pretty hard. Okay? Then as I start reading the curve of the putt, I look at the surrounds. And for instance, this putt right here has got a bunker to the right of it. And it's got a big lip that falls down to the green, which is going to influence the putt. So I look at the surrounds. Another thing I look at is my fellow competitors. As they're putting, what is their ball doing up around the hole? And I watch that very closely. And I promise you, PGA Tour players watch that. Now, if I got this putt right here, I got about a 25 footer here, and I got a ball out there that represents the intermediate spot that I would like my ball actually to go just to the right of when I hit this putt. So if I have a long putt, I've always got an intermediate. It may be a piece of grass. It may be an old cup. It may be a blemish in the green. But I've got an idea of where I want my ball to be traveling about halfway to the hole or a third or two thirds, wherever that blemish happens to be. You follow me? Reading the putt. You should not be reading the putt when you get up over the ball. You should already have your decision made. Okay? Do better work before, and you'll have better results after. Good luck to you.